Now, without looking at the book, let's see if you can do what Mozart, Mouse, and Beethoven Bear did. Can you start on middle C with your right hand? And I want you to skip. Let's switch hands. Can you skip all the way up to the top of your piano? I don't care what fingers you use. I just want to hear some skipping notes. Now don't skip that far. I only want you to skip one key. So a skip or a third on the piano is just from one key. We skip the next door neighbor. We skip this finger and we play the next one up. Can you try that for me? Start on the E and skip up a, a, a skip from E. You're doing it. Start on G. Keep going. Now you know. Can you keep going? Keep skipping. Keep skipping. Wow, that was a skipping extravaganza. Do you think you could go down the piano starting on middle C? Whoa. Use your left hand. Start in the middle of the piano. So let's go back to middle C in the middle. There we are. Switch your hands. Which one do you like better? Going up or going down? Down. Down was fun, wasn't it? Yeah. Now, here's a reminder. I think you might know this. That when you have a note on a line, if that note moves down to the very next line, that is a skip. So in our bass clef here, we have a C, and this is a line note, and I'm going to point to the next one. Is that a line note or a space note? Why? 